Today I have a real trash to treasure for you. I found this pin leg table curbside. It's structurally sound, uh, however the top was a little mucked up with nail polish, paint, stains, I'm not sure what else. The great thing about curb shop finds is it always allows me to be a little more adventurous. No guilt if it doesn't turn out. So today I'm sharing a new mud cloth stencil makeover and a new paint color and I cannot wait to hear what you think. Let's start. Here's the fun part. <music> The table was found curbside and then it sat in my garage for a good few months so it needed a really good cleaning. I used this white lightning cleaner which is a TSP substitute and cuts through crud and dirt beautifully. All I do is add half a teaspoon to this spray bottle, fill it with water and then shake. I just find it so much easier to spray onto furniture rather than dunking my hand into a bucket. The next step in my prep was to scuff sand and I used my orbital sander and a 120 grit to scuff the top of this tabletop. Now I wasn't worried about sanding off all the nail polish, paint and stains because the scuff sanding is just that. Scuffing or slightly scratching the top of a surface just to provide a little tooth for your paint to adhere to. Now here's where it gets fun and interesting. I painted one coat of this new Mojave Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint. It is quite the color. I would describe it as maybe a desert gold or dark mustard. And just as a fun little side note, this Mojave reminded me of a trip my sister and I took back in 2014. We were driving from Las Vegas to Hollywood, California, and we detoured at the now abandoned resort in the Mojave National Preserve called Zyzix. Back in the 40s, Curtis Springer, which like was a con man of some sort, <laughs> actually is very interesting. You should Google him. It's quite the story. He set up this mineral springs resort in the middle of the desert and would get homeless people to come work for him. And of course, once they did, they could not escape. Anyways, eventually he was evicted from Zyzex because uh, he was not paying taxes or anything. And the federal government turned Zyzex over to the state of California University where they do researching and desert study program there. Anyways, if you ever have a chance to go, it is beautiful. It is lovely. So back to this Mojave Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint. I'm not sure I would have been bold enough to pick this color if this was a piece I had purchased. But as mentioned, I really like stepping out of my comfort zone when it's a freebie or curb shopped piece. I painted one coat of this Mojave expecting to come back and having to put a second coat on the following day, but one coat was definitely sufficient. No stains were beating through and the coverage was excellent. So stepping out of my comfort zone again, I decided on this Bells and Whistles mud cloth stencil. I probably should have centered it and laid this stencil straight onto the table, but the curved sides on the two ends made me rethink this. Instead, I decided to use this stencil diagonally across the table, which was extra work. <laughs> but I really like the way it all came together, which you'll see in a bit. But if and when I use this stencil again, I think I will definitely lay it straight across because the pattern isn't cohesive all the way through. So this made it harder to match up. Here's a tip to keep your stencil in place while stenciling. Uh, I use, or I really like using this Elmer's Multi-Purpose Spray Adhesive. Super easy to use. And for a temporary bond, the instructions say to spray a light coat and then wait three to five minutes before joining. And I'll be honest, I don't bother waiting. I just spray and position my stencil and start stenciling right away. And the reason being is this glue takes an hour to set and I've never had a problem taking the stencils off or with any residue from this spray glue. 
Because this is a larger design on a full tabletop, I used a foam roller, a high density foam roller to speed up the stenciling process. These foam rollers work great for stenciling. And the key to keep a nice, crisp, stenciled design is to offload any excess paint onto a paper plate or a paper towel. So you'll roll it in the paint. In this case, I'm using Coffee Bean from Dixie Bell. You'll roll it in the paint and load your roller. And then you're going to offload any excess paint onto a paper plate or paper towel. This prevents bleed through under your stencil so you end up with a nice, crisp, clean design. I think this coffee bean paint color paired perfectly with the Mojave. To extend the stencil design down over the corners and onto the side of this table, I just worked very carefully in sections. So I would pull the stencil onto the lip of the table, hold it, and use my foam roller to actually stencil the sides. And this way the design goes all the way across onto the sides of the table and it looks great. To seal and protect this mud cloth table, I use this clear coat in satin. It's very easy to brush on because it's not clear while wet. So you can actually see it has a milky hue while applying it. Uh, so there's a perfect visual so you don't miss any spots. And then it dries perfectly clear. It also self levels. So as you can see, this table isn't totally Smooth. It actually has some texture to it. So when applying this, you'll see that it goes into some of the grooves. So it looks heavier in some areas, lighter in others. But because this top coat self levels very, very nicely, I didn't even worry about it. The finish ended up beautiful. I often spray Dixie Bell's clear coat, but it, it applies just as lovely if you brush it on. And here's the end result. Uh, we'll take another look at the before. And here's the after. I am so happy I stepped out of my comfort zone and tried this new color and stencil design. And I can't wait to hear what you think. So I hope you really enjoyed today's tutorial. I can't wait to hear what you think. So feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you've gotten any value out of it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. Also, before you leave, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And you can also find me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. I also have DIY projects to help you stage and style your furniture and decorate your home. So until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.